delved into the history of World War II, you're likely familiar with the term, Third Reich. This term originates from the concept of the German nation-state, and throughout history, there have been several such periods. Hitler aimed to restore Germany to its previous glory, envisioning a reign that would last a millennium. However, Hitler's rule only spanned from 1933 to 1945. Following the end of World War II and Hitler's suicide, Germany was divided during the Cold War. Today, the term Reich is often associated with neo-Nazi movements, but it originally referred to the German nation. So, what were the First and Second Reichs? These terms refer to two other periods of German dominance in Europe, which were not characterized by the brutal oppression and atrocities that marked Hitler's Germany. Some might argue that these earlier periods were seen as Germany's golden age. The First Reich, the Holy Roman Empire. The first period of Germanic dominance in Europe is associated with the Holy Roman Empire. The inception of the empire is debated, with some attributing it to the year 800 CE when King Charlemagne was crowned, and others to 962 CE when the territory that would constitute most of the empire was consolidated. Charlemagne, the king of the Franks, a Germanic people in what is now France, was crowned emperor on Christmas Day, 800 CE, by Pope Leo III. This marked the first use of the term emperor in Western Europe since the fall of Rome centuries earlier, and this period became known as the Carolingian Empire. They became the dominant force in Western Europe, annexing lands in France, Germany, and Italy. The Holy Roman Empire remained a dominant force in Europe until the 13th century, reaching its zenith under Otto I in 962. The empire began to decline under the House of Hohenstaufen, although it persisted for several more centuries. The term, Holy Roman Empire, came into use around this time. During this era, Germany was composed of several different German states. They were united by culture and language but often operated independently of each other. The emperor was elected by the nobility rather than inheriting the title. Ascending to the title of Holy Roman Emperor was a great honor and came with significant political influence in European affairs. Major social and political reforms began under the rule of Frederick III, 1452-1493 CE. These reforms were solidified during the reign of Maximilian I, 1508-1519 CE, who prioritized cultural unity among the German people over religious matters. The empire transitioned into a more Germanic-focused nation rather than a religious state. The French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars signaled the end of the Holy Roman Empire. Former areas of the empire were gradually annexed and dissolved as Napoleon expanded his military conquests. The empire was formally dissolved on August 6, 1806, when Emperor Francis II abdicated following the loss of the Battle of Austerlitz. Francis became King of Austria following the Treaty of Pressburg. The Second Reich, the German Empire. In the mid-century, several disunified peoples began to consider unification. Two of the countries that underwent unification during this period were Italy and Germany. While Italy experienced conflict as part of the unification process, it was more political in Germany. Germany existed as several distinct nation-states during the 1800s. The northern German states formed the North German Confederation in 1866, led by Prussia. The architect of the unity plan was Otto von Bismarck, a Prussian military commander and nobleman. He persuaded the southern German states to officially join Prussia in 1871. The Prussian king, Wilhelm I, became the first German emperor. Austria did not join the new state and remained independent until it was annexed under Hitler. While the empire consisted of over 25 German states, it was dominated by Prussia. The new realm saw Germany transition from primarily agricultural to a more industrial state. The 1880s and 1890s saw Germany take a more prominent role in politics and on the world stage. Germany also began to harbor colonial aspirations, claiming colonies in Africa. The largest of these territories was German South West Africa, in modern Namibia. From 1904 to 1908, Germany participated in what is considered the first genocide of the 20th century. The Herero and Namakwa genocide resulted in the deaths of between 24,000 and 100,000 people. This was a collective punishment in response to uprisings against colonial rule. The German Empire lasted until the end of World War I in 1918. Germany had joined the Triple Alliance with Austria-Hungary and Italy. The Ottoman Empire also aligned with them against the Entente of Britain, France, Russia, and the United States. While the Germans and their allies enjoyed some early success in the war, the entry of the United States shifted the war in the Entente's favor. The stalemate at the Western Front and dissatisfaction with the war effort led to civil unrest in Germany. The November Revolution of 1918 saw the German Emperor, Wilhelm II, abdicate the throne. 
The Treaty of Versailles officially ended World War I and marked the end of the German Empire. The newly established Weimar Republic lasted from 1918 until 1933 and the rise of Hitler. The German Republic suffered economic and political instability following the end of the war. The decline of the German state and the memory of former greatness led some to exploit the dissatisfaction among the population. This dissatisfaction led to the rise of the Nazi Party in 1933. Hitler's German Empire lasted until the end of World War II in 1945 and led to the death of millions. Today, Germany is a leader in politics and economics in Europe. While they may take pride in the achievements of the Holy Roman Empire and Bismarck, the Third Reich is a period they would prefer to forget. Now, let's engage in a deeper discussion. How do you think the legacy of the First and Second Reichs influenced the rise of the Third Reich? And in your opinion, how has Germany's history shaped its current role in European politics and economics?